Hello. We're going to look at 4.5, day 2. Today is Thursday, May 21st. Note, the Unit 4 assessment, it will be next week, uh, at the end of next week, will require you to answer word problems using the guess method. Please understand this method in order to demonstrate your understanding during the assessments, okay? So using the guess method, solve the following problems. Example one, the population of a Canadian city is modeled by P at T at this equation, where T is the time in years, T is equal to zero, the year is 2007. Okay, so that's like the starting mark, all right? According to the model, what will the population be in 2020? G U E S S. All right. So G is the given. So we were given the P at T equals 12T plus 800T plus 40,000. T is in years. And the population is modeled by. So population has to be the P at T. So P at T is population and T is time in years. Now, looking back, we understand that the only variable that's being squared in any of our equations is X. We also know that P at T is in function notation where it's a letter, bracket, letter, bracket. Okay, so we learned in 1.3 that this is the same as y equals. Well, if p at t is y equals, then p squared and, or sorry, t squared and t must be x squared and x. Rewrite the equation so that your brain understands y and x. Okay, it's not going to understand the P at T equation quite as easily as the Y equals equation. Okay, so P at T is Y and T is X. Uh, U, unknown. So what are they asking? According to the model, what will the population be in 2020? Okay, so find population in 2020. Now, if they want to know 2020 is the year, okay, so that's the year, we know that that's associated with X. Now, one thing I forgot to say, this is very important. T is zero, time is 2000. When, uh, sorry, when T is zero, time is 2000. Okay, that's very important for the next part. In two, uh, 2020, right, we need to know that x is not really x as in x equals 2020. It is the difference between 2020 and 2000. Okay, so it's equal to x since uh, when when t equals zero is the year 20 or sorry 2000 okay so we have to we have to subtract right the difference between 2000 and 2020 so therefore x is 2020 minus 2000 so x is equal to 20 years so really x is the time in years since 2000 Sorry, in 2007, oh my goodness, 2007. So that becomes 13. Okay, just make sure that you fix that. Okay, so it's 2007, 2007, okay. All right, so if we wanna know what the population is, population is the Y. So we're actually saying, well, what is Y equal to, okay? If I want to know what y is equal to, y is already on its own side. So to find y, okay, 
use uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c or y equals a x minus h squared plus k or y equals a x minus r x minus s okay all of them have the y value to the left okay all of them will answer the question what is y so in our solution we're going to take the equation the unknown and the given and sub it into the solution space okay so s is the solution and e is the equation so e is the equation just like u is unknown and g is given okay so solution uh, so we're going to use this standard form well this this standard form is the exact same as this one right that's in standard form this is in standard form so we're going to use uh, the y equals ax squared plus bx plus c because we have y equals 12x squared plus 800x plus 40,000 okay we're going to take the s sorry the x I'm going to sub in x equals 13. y equals 12. 13 is squared plus 800 times 13 plus 40,000. And we're going to follow bed mass. Okay? So exponents, what we're going to do first. So 13 squared is 169. If you want, you can type it in. 13 squared is 169. Okay, so we're going to do exponents. Because multiplication is separate from all the other parts of the equation, I can do this right away. So that would be about 8,400, I think. But I will, instead of doing it roughly in my head, whoa, 10,400 plus 4,000. 40,000. Okay, let's multiply these two. So 12 times 169, 2028, 20, plus 10,400, plus 40,000. Okay, so we don't have to clear that. Plus 10,400 plus 40,000, 52,428. Okay, so we have said if we want to find the population, y is in, in the, the population, okay? So y represents population. So s is the last s is sentence. Therefore, the population in 2020 will be or is will be or is 52,428 okay all right in what year in what year so you'd want to know what represents year but I'm getting ahead of myself so let's do the guess so given okay so we're already given the P at T, the exact same given in A is the given in B because this preceded or came before A and it came before B. Okay, so we're still given the equation. I'll write it down. Okay, we can reestablish that population is P at T. We could also say that it's Y. We could say that T is time and years, and that is X, okay? could rewrite this as Y equals uh, 12X squared plus 800X plus 40,000, okay? All right, so U is the unknown. Better write E as the equation before I overlook that. S is the solution, and this S is the sentence, okay? That's the guess out, outlined, okay? So, unknown. So this is the 
who, what, when, where, why, how question. So in what year? Okay, so they're wanting to know year. Do we know year? Years is X. Okay, so in what year will the population be? Okay, so find the year. Okay, so we don't know what it is, but we do know that year is represented by X. Okay, so we want to find an X when population is 300,000. That's pretty large. Okay, uh, so we know that population, population is the Y value. So we know that Y is the value that we're being given. Okay, so that's the subbing in part. We're going to sub that in. Okay, equation. Well, if we want to know what X is, to find X, okay, we need Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C and the quadratic, quadratic formula, right? What a, the quadratic formula, okay. So fortunately, the standard form is exactly what we've been given, okay? So we're gonna use y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? Take what was given, the unknown and the equation, okay? So we, usually we start with this, right? So we're working backwards. So we're taking the equation that we need, we're comparing it to what we're given, Okay, so that's ideal. Okay, we've been given the equation that we need because quadratic form uses A, B, and C, right? That A, that B, that C. All right, so what else? We wanna know the year, so we wanna know X, but we want to say that population is 300,000. So we're gonna have to sub a Y value of 300,000. Okay, so 300,000 and then equals 12x squared plus 800x plus 40,000. Okay, move the 300,000 over to the other side. Zero equals 12x squared plus 800x plus 40,000 minus 300,000. So zero is equal to 12x squared plus 800x uh, we have to subtract, so what would that be? 26, 300,000, 300,000, and that's negative, plus 40,000, 26, 260,000, 260,000, okay? So just like we were going to use the ax squared plus bx plus c, we moved everything to one side. So a is 12, b is 800, and c is negative uh, 260,000. So a is 12, b is 800, and c is negative 260,000. Make sure that's right. Okay, alrighty, so we're gonna use x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, all divided by two times a. Okay, so x is equal to negative b, so it's negative 800. Oop, that's plus or minus, make sure that's visible there. plus or minus b squared, which is 800 squared minus four times a, which is 12, times c, which is 260,000, all divided by two times a, two times 12. Okay, so x is equal to negative 800 plus or minus 
would be 800 squared. So six four zero 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 zero. So six hundred and forty thousand. Six hundred and forty thousand. Now this here is all multiplication. So when you type in four, that's negative, times twelve, times twenty uh, two hundred sixty thousand, which is negative, equals. Okay. Uh, what is that? Where are my zeros? It looks like it's 1,248,000. 1, but let's see the decimals. Uh, or zeros. 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that is 12,480,000. Pretty large. And 2 times 12 is 24. Okay? I have this number on my screen. I'm going to add it to, add it to the 640,000. Okay, check my zeros. Okay, so x is equal to negative 800 plus or minus the square root of 1312000. We'll get our commas in there so we know what number we're talking about. Okay. So 13,120,000 divided by 24. Alrighty, so let's see if we can squeeze this in here. Okay, so x is equal to, move this up a little bit. So x is equal to negative 800 plus the square root of this number. Three six two two decimal one five four zero blah 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 all divided by twenty four and then it's at negative negative eight hundred minus this uh, three six two two point one five four zero blah 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 all divided by twenty four. So we're going to add the numerators before we divide. So I've got that number there. I don't need to clear it. So I'm going to add 800, which is negative. So 2822.1540 blah, 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 over 24, divide it by 24. X is equal to... 117.58 blah 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 we don't say about the year exactly but we I mean we do know that we're rounding to one uh, to the whole number so it's just it's just under okay but now this is this is years years since since 2007 right so it's actually 108 years added to 2007, right? So 2000, 2007, 2007 plus 118 years. So 15, 2, 1. So in 2125, that'll be the year. And then what about this one? So this one is 800, which is negative, minus 3622.1540 equals, and that's negative 4422.154 divided by 24. x equals negative 184.256 blah 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 so it's to the nearest year so it's negative 184 exactly well not exactly but rounded okay so we've rounded there okay so that that is 184 years before 2007 right 
So 2007 minus 184 when rounded. So it's approximately 123, but if you want to do it the other way, 2007 minus 184. Eighteen twenty three. So what does all that mean? So in our sentence, therefore the population will be three hundred thousand in twenty one twenty five. Okay? Now, is it logical? To do this, no, because this goes back behind. Let's see if I can squeeze this in here. So if X is years, years since 2007, this, this right here, this is year 2007. Okay, so it's telling you you don't want to go anywhere back here because this is uh, not... Uh, it doesn't follow a, uh, a logical description of the population, right? Because we have a population which is dipping. So because that's a C value of 40,000. So it would be at this point, this is year zero, right? So it would be dipping and then it could be coming up. And then way over here where the number is 30 thousand so this would hit the graph and this here would be x equals 184 years right so right there would be in fact the uh no where do i want to go 180 